Oh boy, another video. Ain't you guys lucky? Ain't you guys lucky? Um, been having. I've had the uh, the Kenwood TM two forty one A on the SEC twelve. 1223, which is now 1212. Anyway, um, and I went to do a radio check on 52 with uh, Alyssa earlier tonight and noticed that, or I should say, noticed that the radio was all static. And uh, I've seen uh, kind of odd. So, anyways, I uh, put the TM241A. On the watt meter, it's a 30 watt MFJ. And anyways, uh, when I tried it, uh, the needle on the meter was not moving. What? Not I, any iota? Nothing. So uh, what I found out the problem, not really a problem, I suppose. But uh, I took I immediately went back to the radio, took a look at to see what kind of uh, module, RF module, PA module was inside the 241A. And it's the famous S-AV-17, uh, which has been completely, um, uh, let's just say, it's obsolete and no longer available. So uh, I've done a little research online about the uh, about the uh, the S-AV-17, and apparently there's a lot of people that have the same issue, and the the same module is used in a bunch of different radios and in the and in the little uh, right up the head the uh, you can take the plastic cover off of the module uh, I never knew you could do it but apparently yeah the little plastic cover can come off of that module and uh, and the SAV 17 um, sometimes you can find a crack in the substrate or in the traces in the solder whatever on the board in any particular location just could be anywhere and uh, I took my little loop that I have um, used for metal detecting a lot I use this and basically went through went over the whole circuit board and I did find did found did find a crack in the ceramic board in the solder and uh, I resoldered that little joint and uh, basically powered up the radio again and put her back on the watt meter and to my amazement the radio actually does 30 watts via one MDS on 52 so we'll just uh, put her on forward and we'll see what she does and this is uh, high power VO1 MDS testing, one, two, three, three, two, one. That's high power. This is medium power. VO1 MDS test, one, two, three, three, two, one. And then this is low power. VO1 MDS testing, one, two, three, three, two, one. VO1 MDS clear. So, there we have it. So, the, uh, SA, the SAV-17 had a problem, I had a crack in the solder. Anyways, I uh, should have took a picture of the crack, but I just, you know, in a hurry to get it fixed, I totally forgot to get a picture of it, do a video of it. Duh. Maybe next time. Anyways, a little quick video. Uh, just a little, little something that if you have a uh, Kenwood TM241A and you have no RF output, um, Check the, uh, the the PA module, which is the S-AV17. If you take the top cover off, it's a black module that sits roughly right about here. It's held in with two screws and four solder joints, and you're gonna move it. And another thing, the heat sink on the module. Um, apparently, there's a bunch of models that uh, was put out. That there was no heat sink compound behind the module, so it's just the module and bare metal. There was no uh, new heat sink compound on it at all. And this TM241A <laughs> was actually one of them. So yeah, so I had to put some uh, put some uh, heat sink compound on this one. Anyways, hope it's of some value, folks, and we shall be talking to you later. 
And uh, yeah, here we have it. Hey folks, just a quick little thing on a Kenwood TM241A. No RF, no RF output. Check for solder breaks in the uh, PA module. All the best folks. We are out of here. Ciao.